welcome back friends we are talking about advanced genetics and we have discussed about the introductory part about the non mendelian genetics and the different type of non mendelian inheritance pattern now from this video uh, we will be talking about each of the different non mendelian inheritance pattern and we will be discussing them now let's first talk about uh, the incomplete dominance or uh, also and also and not or co-dominance now that these terminologies itself are explaining so much to us incomplete dominance and co-dominance incomplete dominance means dominant pattern is not completely achieved co-dominance means dominant pattern are achieved in all the ways that means, remember why we are calling all these things non-Mendelian inheritance pattern. It's because they are not following the Mendelian way of inheritance. So let us first talk about the Mendelian way of inheritance. Now, according to Gregor Mendel, it should each of the genetic inheritance pattern should follow two different law. One is the law of segregation, which is simply the coin flip or say head and tail model, and the independent assortment means assortment of different traits independently without being involved or interfering with each other so it's between of different traits okay so and also uh, now let's talk about this particular feature so let's consider taking a trait now single trait so here say the trait is so let's begin with a trait trait is a flower color for example okay flower color is the trait now the, for the flower color we must have two genes so the genes here uh, are r so so not two genes one gene so gene are two different alleles for that this is r r so two parents and another one is this small r small r so if i cross between them if we cross between these two what we can get according to gregor mendel let us provide a punnett square so if we provide a punnett square say r r and say so all of them actually uh, if these are the parental generation so if this is a parental generation in the f1 generation all of them are going to be R R so hundred percent of the of F one offspring are going to be R R or heterozygous for the nature. Remember in the previous introductory slide we haven't talked about homozygous heterozygous thing. Caps are caps are homozygous because they are having the same type. Smaller smaller homozygous. Caps are smaller is the heterozygous. Heterozygous. Uh, in case of heterozygous, dominant trait will express its phenotype, right? So here all of them are them. Now, if we make a selfing or cross between caps are caps caps are smaller, then what we'll get? We'll get a ratio of these three different genotypic expression. So, what are the ratio? According to Gregor Mendel, the ratio is one is to two is to one. This is the genotypic ratio. So, if I write here, genotypic ratio is this. Now. Let us consider the phenotypic ratio. Caps R means red. So this means red color. This means white color. And red is dominant over white. That means heterozygous with red caps R will be red color. So here both of them will give us the red color. And this will give us the white color. So the ratio of red flower is to white flower is 3 is to 1. And this is in turn the phenotypic ratio. So according to the Gregor Mendel, these are the ratios that are obtained in monohybrid cross. Now what do you mean by monohybrid cross? It means the cross which is obtained between or, or involving only one trait. Here the trait is the flower color. If we involve the same thing with two different traits, it will be dihybrid. If we involve three traits, it, 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 the name of it would be trihybrid. 
फोर टेट्रा हाइब्रिड एंड सो ऑन ओके सो इनके सब मेंडेल द रेशियो इज वन इज टू इज टू वन जीनो टाइप फिनो टाइप इज थ्री टू वन इनके सब मोनो हाइब्रिड नॉट से इनके सब इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस सेम थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन सो लेट्स पुट अप ऑन स्क्वायर कैप्स आर कैप्स आर हियर स्मॉल आर सो एफ वन जनरेशन इज फाइन टू ऑल सो लेट एस कंसिडर द एफ टू जेनरेशन और द क्रॉस बिटवीन एफ वन so what we can get after the cross between f1 we are getting something like that so according to gregor mendel here let's say if the total percent is total number of offspring is 4 so 1 out of 4 is capsar capsar 2 out of 4 uh, is uh, capsar smaller 1 out of 4 uh, is capsar uh, smaller smaller so the genotypic ratio is again similar so genotypic ratio is following the rule of mendel the law of mendel now let us consider the phenotypic ratio in case of this incomplete dominant as well as a codominance the phenotypic ratio is different in case of mendelian inheritance the phenotypic ratio for mono hybrid cross are always 2 either here uh, if the trait is flower color it is red white if it is a height it's tall short nothing intermediate will come in but in case of codominance or incomplete dominance a different third phenotype will come now here the phenotype ratio is not only bound with red and white but it also bound with red pink and white now the pink remember if we blend red and white it will provide us pink so this third kind can come similarly in case of codominance we can lead to red mixed white so in all the cases of incomplete dominance or codominance we are having a third kind of phenotypic pattern which is totally new in case of all the other mendelian pattern of mono hybrid cross we are having only two phenotypes here we are having three now here in this case of incomplete dominance what will happen they will provide pink so incomplete dominant it means none of the none of this genes none of the version of this genes or none of this alleles are actually dominant none this this smaller uh, is recessive so it won't be dominant but even this dominant one this rr is also in, not dominant here so it is also suppressed so at the end of the day we are having a blending of them and you'll find pink in which red and white none of them are dominant so we are calling it incomplete dominance pattern now in case of codominance as we suggest co that means the dominance of both we'll find a mixed that means the flower here will be look something like that so flower here will be looking like say this is the flower and red spot on to it and the flower is completely red flower is completely white Now in case of pink this is the red white and say the pink is like that these are the difference okay so in mixed means because of codominance both caps are caps are this is red Uh, type and also the smaller smaller white phenotype both of the phenotypes are expressed at the same time so we are having a white flower red spots on to it so we termed it a mixed one now look, let's look at the ratios now the ratios we are dealing with here the ratio for the mendelian cross genotypic ratio of mono hybrid is 1 is to 2 is to 1 phenotypic ratio would be 3 is to 1 but remember remember this is the most important in case of incomplete dominance and codominance the phenotypic ratio are same as the genotypic ratio so here the in case of mono hybrid cross genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and also the phenotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 and the highest type of phenotype would be the new kind that is followed that means the new kind here is a pink and also the mixed property and the highest percentage of the organisms in the f2 generation are of this pink and mixed type okay i hope it will help you to understand that this genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio will be same in case of both the case so the inheritance pattern of genes 
are same and similar of, of incomplete dominance and codominance but the effect is different because here this is a blending where none of them are dominant so this is incomplete dominance so we are giving the pink flower and in the second case both of them are in self dominant giving the wh white flower with red spot it is giving us a codominance so this is it and i hope this will help you to understand this concept thank you